Hello everybody, this is When We Wanna Be Here, and today I would like to talk about Sailor Moon, because if you don't know, Sailor Moon has been a very, very important fictional figure in my life. She was the first superhero that I've ever had. She was the first um, role model that I've had in terms of, you know, geeky role models. I loved the, the anime so much, and uh, you know, it, it was a very, it's a very, very important show to me. It taught me a lot as a kid about, you know, how to be a nice person. And, um, yeah, I was, I'm very, very happy that they decided to, um, honor how wonderful that show was with a reboot. Um, that being said, we did have to wait for, oh, basically an entire year, right? They delayed it for an entire year, and they, you know, after every few months, they were like, mm, we need more time. Sorry about that. So let's start with the, let's start with the first episode. The first episode, um, it didn't hook me, unfortunately. I wanted it to hook me, and don't get me wrong, I was very, very excited to see all of our characters come back again, but I, I basically have the same gripes as most other people in the, um, online fan community have, that people might have. You know, she's too skinny, um, the lines, you know, the outlines are really thick, um, the CG and the transformations, that's, that's a really big one for me. Um, and j just the fact that even though they are being faithful to the manga, it doesn't translate very well to modern day, unfortunately, because it is a decently old manga. You know, it, it was the quintessential Maho Shoujo anime, a anime slash manga that basically began this explosion of Maho Shoujo animes in the world. You know, you can see it everywhere, you know, with um, Shuko Chara, um, ly Lyrical Magical Girl Nanoha, um, even Madoka Magica, Wedding Wedding Peach, I'm not sure if Wedding Peach came before or after, that mer the mermaid one Tokyo, oh yeah, the, the mermaid one, I, f I forgot what the name of that, that one is because I, I didn't want to watch it because it kind of looked dumb to me. Uh, Tokyo Mew Mew, um, and uh, Magical Girl Do Re Mi. We've reached a point in our society where, where, um, anime has been created, Madoka Magica, to basically call Maho Shoujo stories on their shit. Like, that's how long that we've had Maho Shoujo anime. I forgot where I was going with this. Okay, so, sorry, the, the first episode, it, it, it was okay. I don't know, I think people that would watch, if this is people's first time watching Sailor Moon, I, don't, I think they would probably not be that inclined to watch it again. Second, for the second episode, um, it, the series drew on me a little bit more, I would, I would have to say. Um, I think that might just be because I love Sailor Mercury. Sailor Mercury is automatically my favorite, uh, Senshi just because, um, we have the same birthday, and so I find a lot of similarities to her. Um, you know, we're both super nerdy. I have the same birthday as Sailor Mercury, and it's it's such an interesting feeling having a, the birthday of a character from a show that is so special to you. I really, I've always cherished that, even though I didn't have anything to do with it. I definitely got more emotional watching her transformation than Sailor Moon's transformation. You know, they very clearly tributed uh, you know, paid homage to the original anime with the spinning and the ripple effect and, you know, but uh, one YouTuber that I watched right after watching the episode made a very good point that the water CG is really, really crappy. It's really, really bad. Uh, for the most part, I don't like the CG in general for the transformations. I think they should leave that to, you know, Pixar and DreamWorks, people that actually have experience doing it because it, the movements just look really unnatural. The transformations were what did, you know, are... I love, I love the transformation sequences from the original anime. Um, and I was really excited about seeing what it would look like updating, you know. They, they're definitely much better than a lot of other Maho Shoujo transformations. A lot of Maho Shoujo transformations nowadays are 
so glitz and glamoured out with so much CG, C CG, CG and lights that it just, it just makes me, <laughs> it just makes me really, really angry that nobody has the artistic foresight to just make it crisp, clean, and simple like they, like they did with Sailor Moon. And a lot of transformations, they focus, I, I did write this part down, they focus on such really weird details sometimes. Um, <clears throat> like for example, I watched a little bit of, um, a few transformations for research. Um, in Nanoha, they focus, they strangely focus a lot on like, the little plates of metal that like go on their like on their shoes or on their boots or on their like, gloves for some reason. I'm pretty sure there's everybody has seen their fair share of Maho Shoujo transformations where it's not so much about the transformation as opposed to seeing underage girls from a very inappropriate angle. Yeah. Or to see, you know, to see them in their panties and under, you know, to see them in their panties. Crystal's transformations were not as crisp and clean as I wanted them to be. Um, a lot of people complain about the weird angles, which I kind of agree with, and also, there's a lot of spinning in, in, in these transformations going on here. And I, and I do not, and I do not appreciate that. Um, like, there was just something about Sailor Moon that just... They just do it so right, you know. the The music, the music is more badass, you know. Like, the music is staying up in the the in Crystal is like, ha, 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 ha. it's very you know operatic and it's very it's very it fits the feeling of the manga better, which and which is what they're going for. It's what they're it, which it, it, I guess is what they're going for. But like the entire feel of it, it just feels like. It, also, it almost feels like they're falling into the same traps that a lot of shows that have been inspired by by the Sailor Moon anime have done. Just how overdone and how girl- and not girly, how cutesy the music sounds. The CG movement just looks really, really unnatural. I, I just wish that they hand drew it. Like, I think it, it would look so much nicer hand drawn. Okay, so I think that's all I have to say about it. I'll probably be editing this and think of a million things that I missed that I forgot to write down or talk about but honestly like I really really wanted to just fall in love with it but I I'm not 100% in love with it but I I will still feel the feelings I'll still love it <laughs> it's funny because I've watched you know I've watched a decent amount of you know YouTube uh, other youtubers you know talk about you know oh you know talk about how much they love the series how much they they love the the you know how much they, they love the new transformation how much they love the new song that, that's another thing. I kind of wish that they just... Why can't... Why Why do, Why are you use, using a new song? Use Moon, Moonlight... Moonlight Legend. It's such a good... It's such a good song. So I've seen... I've seen YouTube videos where people were literally crying and losing their shit while watching the show. And just because I'm such... I'm such a huge fan of Sailor Moon, I almost feel bad because I wish that I was that person. I wish that, that you know, I was so overcome by my love and feelings for Sailor Moon that I was just like... <laughs> but I, I, I'm not that person. I will watch it though, don't get me wrong. I will see you guys next week. Um, stuff with 2 dash Myth has been going really, really well. I got the website, I wrote a lot of stuff for them that I'm very proud of. And I will see you later. Bye! Also, before I go, I thought this would be a really good time to um, to celebrate having 100 subscribers. Man, that's... I I didn't really know if I would be able to reach this point. But I don't know if you guys... If, if you guys have any suggestions on having an official 100 subscriber celebration video, I'm, I'm open to that, but um, <clears throat> otherwise, yes, I just wanted to thank you again. Don't think I ever take any of you for granted. Um, I, I, I really wish that I could, you know, get to know all of you. I really do. Uh, and um, uh, being being able to build a community, being able to build communities, to or at least you know strengthen the com the a community is it feels really really nice. Even though it's if it's a small if it's 
as, as small and separated as, as this one. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you so much to each and every one of, each of my wonderful 100 subscribers for believing in me, and I hope that, um, I will make you guys proud, and I will be worthy of your, of your subscription. Bye, guys.